Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and today we have a very interesting videos to react to and this one says that the 25 prophet in Islam explain. Of course, I believe that we are going to learn from this um, very um, video. So if today happens to be the first time of you taking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from this. So let's get on to this video and check out some of these um, prophet learn about the greatest men to walk the earth the prophets of islam peace be upon them and witness their extraordinary lives through the only channel dedicated to their lives subscribe now to the prophets live series channel link in the description below all right islam is a religion that is deeply rooted with the prophets that were sent by Allah to guide humanity. Mm. These prophets are respected in Islam and their teachings are considered essential for leading a righteous and fulfilling life. Mm. The stories of these prophets are filled with lessons and guidance that can help us in our daily lives. All prophets taught the message of Islam to find peace in your life through submission to the one almighty creator, to believe in God and to follow his guidance. Hmm. The messenger believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord, hmm. as do the men of faith. Each one of them believes in God, hmm. his angels, his books, and his messengers. They say, we make no distinction between one and another of his messengers. Yeah. And they say, we hear and we obey. We seek thy forgiveness, our Lord, and to thee is the end of all journeys. Yeah, that's interesting. Number one, Prophet Adam, alayhi salam, Sri Lanka. Okay, why Adam Sri Lanka? was the first human being, the father of the human race, and the first Muslim. According to Islam, Adam, alayhi salam, was born in heaven when Allah sent him to earth he was brought down on a mountain okay. this mountain is in Sri Lanka and is known as Adam's Peak and there is a mark of Adam alayhi salam's feet on this mountain then Allah gave Adam the knowledge of nature the reality of all things and okay. set them before the angels and said inform me of the names of these if you are wow. truthful this is serious Sri Lanka 2 Prophet Idris alayhi okay. salam Idris Iraq Who is Idris Prophet Idris and his followers left Babylon for Egypt there he carried on his mission calling people to what is just and fair teaching them certain prayers and instructing them to fast on certain days hmm. and to give a portion of their wealth to the poor he was All the right. first of the children of Adam to be given prophethood after Adam and Seth, okay. peace be upon them. Mentioned in the book, Quran, Idris, Enoch. Okay. Okay. Verily, Enoch. he was a man of truth and a prophet. Son of we Adam. raised him to a high station. Three, Prophet Nuh, alayhi salam, okay. Iraq. Iraq. Wow. Prophet Nuh lived among people who were stone idol worshippers in a society that was wicked and corrupt. These idols were named after good people who used to live among them. But as the culture went astray, it gradually turned these people into objects of idolatrous worships. 4. Prophet Hud alayhi salam, Yemen. Wow. Okay. Prophet Hud this prophet is a lesser known prophet the in countries Islam in which who was sent to the born. people of Ad, a civilization that existed in the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula. The people of Ad were known for their arrogance 
and their disobedience towards Allah. Prophet Hud was sent by Allah to warn the people of Ad about mm. the consequences of their actions and to I invite see. them towards the path of righteousness. Prophet Hud was sent by Allah because he was the only one who could reach the people of Ad and convey Allah's message to them. He oh, was okay. from the tribe of Ad and was known for his wisdom and piety. He spent his life warning the people of Ad about the consequences of their actions and urging them to turn towards Allah. 5. Prophet Saleh alayhi salam okay, Iraq He was the descendant of the great Nuh, peace be upon him. He was sent by Allah to the nation of Thamud who lived in Al-Hijr located in Arabia. At the time, the city grew very prosperous and began the love for short-term materialistic pleasures. The Prophet sought to ensure the people knew the consequences of their actions. 6. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, wow. Iraq. Iraq. He was given the title Khalilullah, wow. which means the friend of Allah. The Quran describes him as a man of truth. I was thinking a prophet. it was Iran. He was the father of other prophets and the grandfather of Prophet Yaqub. He is also one of the ancestors of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Prophet Ibrahim is recognized as a great prophet among believers in monotheistic faiths such as Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. 7. Prophet Lut alayhi salam, Iraq Prophet Lut, also known as Lot, was sent by Allah to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. These people had become extremely corrupt and engaged in immoral behavior such as homosexuality. Oh, Prophet Lut was sent to guide them towards the path century. of righteousness and warn them of the consequences of their actions. Hmm. He urged them to abandon their immoral ways and turn back to Allah. However, the people refused to listen to him and continued with their sinful behavior. As a result, Allah destroyed the cities with the rain of stones. The story of Prophet Lut teaches us the importance of following the commands of Allah and living a righteous life. It also highlights the consequences of engaging in immoral behavior and the importance of turning back to Allah before it's too late. Mm. And we had sent Lot when he said to his people, Do you commit such immorality as no one has preceded you with from among the worlds? Mm. 8. Prophet Ismail alayhi salam, Palestine. Prophet Ismail is Ibrahim's son, born to Hajar and an ancestor of Muhammad. He and his mother were brought to Mecca by Ibrahim. He gave him the duty of guiding the people mm. of Amalika in Yemen. He lived with this nation for 50 years and conveyed them the divine message in orders. Mm. Some of them believed in him, but others insisted on unbelief and polytheism. Mm. Allah has stated in Quran about the prophethood of Ismail mm. and mentioned in the book the Quran, Ismail, Ishmael. Verily, he was true to what he promised, and he was a messenger and a prophet, and he used to enjoin on his family and his people as salat, the prayers, and the zakat, and his Lord was pleased with him. 9. Prophet Ishaq, alayhi salam, Palestine. Ishaq is the son of Ibrahim and the father of Yaqub. Ishaq is mentioned 15 times by name in the Quran. And this submission to Allah, Islam, was enjoined by Abraham upon his sons and by Jacob, saying, O my sons, 
Allah has chosen for you the true religion, then die not except in the faith of Islam as Muslims, Islamic monotheism. 10. Prophet Yaqub hmm. alayhi salam, Palestine. Palestine. Yaqub is believed to have been the son of Ishaq and the father of Yusuf. Hmm. We gave him Ishaq and Yaqub. Each of them we made a prophet hmm. and we gave them of our mercy and assigned to them a high and true renown. Hmm. Prophet Yaqub, peace be upon him, was born in Palestine yeah. and he was the son of Prophet Ishaq, peace be upon him. He is known for leading his life in the footsteps of his father, of his father and grandfather, spreading the message of the oneness of God and advising followers to pray and give in charity. 11. Prophet Yusuf salam, Palestine Yusuf is the son of Yaqub and is considered one of the most important prophets in Islam. Remember when Yusuf, Joseph, said to his father, O oh my father, verily, I saw in a dream eleven stars, and the sun, and the moon. I saw them prostrating themselves to me. Yusuf was a prophet who was known for his beauty, wisdom, and patience. He was sold into slavery by his jealous brothers, but was eventually freed and became a powerful leader in Egypt. 12. Prophet Ayyub salam, Saudi Arabia Wow. Prophet Ayyub was yes. an example of patience and obedience. Oh. Therefore, Allah subjected him to hard tests. He suffered long That's and was dope. sorely tested by Allah, but remained true to his faith. And Ayyub, oh. when he cried to his Lord saying, Harm has afflicted me, and thou art the most merciful to the merciful. Therefore we responded to him and took off what harm he had. And we gave him his family and the like of them with them. A mercy from us and a reminder to the worshippers. 13. Prophet Shaib alayhi salam, mm. Syria. Yeah. Prophet Shaib was sent to the people of Madian, a yeah, civilization that existed yeah in the northwestern part of the Arabian Peninsula. That's Jethro. The people of Madian were known for their corruption and their mistreatment of the poor. Prophet Shu'aib was sent by Allah to warn the people of Madian about the consequences of their actions and to urge them to turn towards Allah. But they refused to listen to him. As a result, Allah sent a powerful earthquake that destroyed them completely. Mm. Prophet Shu'aib was sent by Allah because of his wisdom and his sense of justice. Mm. He spent his life teaching people about the message of Allah and urging them to treat each other with kindness and compassion. So. He was known for his miracles such as bringing a dead tree back to life and curing the sick. Wow. 14. Prophet Musa salam, Egypt Prophet Musa was a prophet who was sent to the people of Egypt, who were known for their oppression and cruelty. Allah gave him miraculous powers, and he used them to free his people from slavery. Allah sent a series of miraculous events to assist Musa salam in his mission. These events included splitting the sea, and changing the Nile River into blood. Mm. These miracles were meant to serve as a sign of Allah's power and a challenge for Pharaoh to acknowledge his existence and release the Israelites. However, Pharaoh refused to believe. 15. Prophet Harun salam, mm. Egypt Prophet Harun is the brother of Prophet Musa 
and is considered one of the prophets in Islam. He was a wise and pious man who worked closely with his brother, Prophet Musa a.s. to guide the people of Egypt to the path of righteousness. Musa, Moses said, Lord, lift up my heart and ease my task for me. Unite my tongue so they may understand my words mm. and give me a helper from my family, mm. my brother Harun, to augment my strength through him. Mm. Let him share my task mm. so that we can glorify you much mm. and remember you often. You are always watching over us. 16. Prophet Dawood a.s. Mm. Palestine Prophet Dawood was known for his courage, wisdom, and piety. He was also a skilled warrior and could defeat Goliath with Allah's help. Dawood a.s. Mm. ruled the children of Israel, yeah. Banu Israel, for 40 years, seven years in Hebron, Al-Khalil, and 33 in Jerusalem, which became known as the city of Dawood. And certainly, we gave Dawood bounty from us and said, O mountains, repeat our praises with him, and the birds, you too. And we softened for him iron, saying, Make wide coats of mail, and measure well the links, and do righteous deeds. Surely, I am seer of what you do. Oh, yeah. 17. Prophet Sulaiman a.s. Palestine. Palestine. Prophet Sulaiman was the youngest son of Dawood. Mm. Allah bestowed many gifts on Sulaiman, including the ability to speak with animals mm. and rule over jinn. He ruled justly and is often regarded as one of the greatest rulers. 18. Prophet Ilyas a.s. Palestine. Mm. Ilyas was a prophet who was sent to the people of Israel during a time of great moral decay and corruption. He called them to worship Allah, the majestic, the glorious, and he stressed upon them that they should give up their idol worship whom they had named Baal. Ilyas was tasked with preaching to his people about the importance of following the path of righteousness and living a life of virtue. Yeah. He performed many miracles, including bringing rain during a mm. time of drought, yeah. and his teachings continue mm. to inspire Muslims today. Mm. So. 19. Prophet al yasa alayhi salam, Palestine. Palestine. Prophet al yasa was a prophet sent by Allah to the Israelites. He mm. was a disciple of Prophet Elijah yeah. and continued his teachings after his death. Mm. Prophet Elyasa was mm. known for his miracles mm. and was able to heal the sick and bring the dead back to life. He also advised the Israelites to follow the path of righteousness yeah. and warned them of the consequences of their actions. The story of Elyasa teaches us the importance of faith. Mm. and the power of miracles. It also highlights the importance of following the teachings of the prophets and living a righteous life. 20. Prophet Yunus a.s. Iraq. Iraq Yunus was a prophet who was sent to the people of Nineveh in present-day mm. Iraq. He was yes. born in the city of Mosul Jonah. and was known for his wisdom and piety. Mm. Yunus was tasked with preaching to his people about the importance of repentance and turning towards Allah. Mm. He famously survived being swallowed by a whale, and his teachings continue to inspire Muslims today. 21. Prophet Dhul Kifl, okay. alayhi salam, Palestine. What is this? Dhul Prophet Dhul Kifl is another lesser-known prophet in Islam who was sent to the people of Israel. Okay. He's also known as the companion of the fish because of a miracle that he performed. According to the Quran, Prophet Dhul Kifl 
was sent by Allah to guide the people of Israel towards the right path and to teach them I think I don't about the oneness prophet. of Allah. Maybe you can tell me at the prophet Dhul was sent by Allah because of his wisdom and his devotion okay. to Allah. He was from the tribe of Banu Israel okay. and spent his life teaching people about the message of Allah. He was known for his miracles such as bringing a dead person back to life and curing the blind. Each of these prophets was sent by Allah to fulfill a mm. specific role Purpose, yeah. and to guide humanity towards the truth. Mm. They were chosen for their unique qualities and abilities. And they dedicated their lives to spreading the message of Allah. Mm. Through their teachings and examples, they continue mm. to inspire and guide Muslims today. Sure. 22. Prophet Zakaria alayhi mm. salam, Palestine. Zakaria was a prophet who was sent to the people of Israel mm. during a time of great turmoil and strife. He was born in the city of Jerusalem and was known for his devotion to Allah. Zakaria was tasked with preaching to his people about the importance of faith and perseverance in the face of adversity. Mm. He performed many miracles, including the birth of his son, Yahya, and his teachings continue to inspire Muslims today. Mm. 23. Prophet Yahya salam, Syria Yahya was a prophet who was born to Zakaria mm. and was tasked with continuing so his father's legacy of preaching to the people what of happened? Israel. He was known for his devotion to Allah and his commitment to spreading the message of righteousness. Yahya was tasked with preparing the way for Isa and his teachings continue to inspire Muslims today. Mm. 24. Prophet Isa alayhi salam, Palestine. Palestine. Isa, also known as Jesus, was a prophet who was born to Mary and was sent to the people of Israel during a time of great turmoil and unrest. He was born in the city of Bethlehem and was known for his compassion and wisdom. Isa was tasked with preaching to his people about the importance of love and forgiveness, mm. and he performed many miracles, including healing the sick and raising the dead. His teachings continue to inspire Muslims today. Mm. And 25, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and most respected prophet in Islam. He was born in Mecca in 570 CE and received his first revelation from Allah at the age of 40. The message that he received was to spread the word of Allah and to invite people towards the path of righteousness. Mm. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, spent the rest of his life spreading the message of Islam mm. and guiding people towards Allah. Mm. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent by Allah for several reasons. Firstly, he was sent to guide humanity towards the right path and to teach people about the oneness of Allah. He was mm. also sent to reform the society of the time, mm. which was plagued by ignorance, superstition, and idol worship. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought about a significant change in society by promoting social justice, equality, and brotherhood. Mm. Unlock spiritual enrichment with One Islam TV app. Immerse yourself in a unique experience that is music-free. Fully wow. halal and continuously updated with fresh content. That's a very interesting uh, video learning about the uh, 25 uh, prophet you understand in Islam actually um, explained. It was actually a very interesting one. And I believe that for all of us who have listened to this video to this time, I believe that you must have learned few things you understand among some of these um, prophets. So to whether you are a Christian or you are a Muslim, at least, you understand, 
you have to learn and then you understand you understand some of these um prophets i know that um for some prophet uh muslim brothers they may not you understand kind of understand some of these things you understand very well because they will think that for most of the prophet they are mentioned over there you yeah, actually you understand a christian you understand prophet so immediately you begin to mention some of them and then reference them to the to muslim and then they wonder and says how like we know this one to be you understand prophet in christianity right so why are you now saying that they are also you understand in the muslim and then that's why i see some are of an opinion that um the quran was actually in a sense copied from the bible and then therefore some few things we are added well that's um other people's um opinion but then i think that uh, the major um difference is the prophet number 24 that is um jesus christ of course uh in islam he's been referred to as a prophet but then in christianity is being seen as a god well that's you know differences in um religious um <laughs> belief but then um there are some prophet of course you know that they actually mentioned at the course of the video that i was asking you that you can also let me know at the comment section who you are there but then the one that kind of got me confused a little bit was um prophet um yeah 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 that's the father of um of prophet zachariah and yeah yeah that's um john the baptist there yeah. that's for the christians because you're talking about how zachariah was giving birth in the palestine so i don't know what happened that um yeah yeah was rather found in syria why was he born in as then in syria because you know that when john the baptist was born of course he began to preach in as an about god and also about the coming of um jesus christ and then if you look at it critically jesus christ was still born in as then in the palestine right so what happened that he end up you understand in syria i <laughs> do not know but then as for prophet uh, muhammad of course i believe he was a messenger of god he was sent by god and everything he do he did not do it in a sense on its own but then he do it in a sense with the guidance of god it was god who directed him and then with some of the messages you understand he actually understands sent so he bring to humanity so i still believe that you understand most of you if not all of you have kind of learned a lot in a sense about this uh, video but of course i know that a lot of you have thought an opinion and i want you to drop it at the comment section let's learn from one another because this channel in a sense basically is mainly for educational innocent purposes so when you come to the channel you can be able to learn a lot of course i'm a christian and i react to islamic you understand videos which means that when it comes to some of the things you understand that christians you understand believe i can be able to explain it and then to some of the videos of course they are islamic um, videos so which means that you have opportunity to be able to understand some things in islam about christianity and also some about um islam so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction if you like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so really remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye